You can only punch your way out of so many animal attacks. It's hard to punch an insect, and before you know it, you've been stung. Some of these bugs are like Roy Jones Jr. The yellow jacket is an incredibly efficient predator. It's a wasp species. All females are able to sting, and they attack together upon even small threats. Their sting is comparable to putting out a cigarette on your tongue, but they attack in groups. Multiple stings can cause you to pass out from the pain. Some yellow jacket colonies can reach 100,000. If a colony of that size consider you a threat, you've basically adolfed yourself. The bald-faced hornet only live in colonies of several hundred, but they make up for that by being more aggressive than most other insects. They sting their targets several times to make sure their nest is defended. You'll feel every sting as venom is shot into you. You will feel a strong burning of your skin which will require immediate medical attention. If any of their venom gets into your eye, it can cause temporary blindness. It's said that when a fire ant bites you, it feels as if you've been set on fire. And if that doesn't sound terrifying enough, they can fly and attack in groups. They're native to the jungle, but have spread to America, Australia, and China after accidentally arriving in shipping crates. Their venom causes intense pain and swelling. Old stories tell of people getting stung by fire ants and scratching at their skin for so long they bleed to death. That's unlikely to happen today, but fire ants are still best avoided. Velvet ants are quite nice. They look soft and aren't very aggressive, but when they do sting, it's bad. Said to feel like boiling hot oil being poured on your skin. The pain will last around 30 minutes and only get worse the longer it lasts. As you scream in pain, anyone nearby will think you're insane. They're known as cow killers due to the intensity of their venom. It can kill cows. Velvet ants aren't even ants, just ant-shaped wasps, so you can expect them to fly. Red harvester ants can be found in southern American states. That alone should cause people to move north, because harvester ants are brutal. Their poisonous bite feels like your muscles are being torn apart, and your skin pulled off. It's also been compared to someone pushing a power drill into your bare skin. Just one sting can make you reevaluate your life. Paper wasps are as bad as they look. They often nest in areas where humans live, and it's always a problem as they attack anyone who approaches their nest. Their sting is comparable to pouring hydrochloric acid on a cut, but it also causes vomiting, confusion, lightheadedness, and sometimes a loss of consciousness. Multiple stings can result in death. They don't tend to stray far from their colony, so if you're stung once, get ready for more. You can tell just by this thing's appearance that you don't want to fight it. It looks like a villain from an old Disney film, but I can't remember which. Hopefully I remember while editing this. There's a scientist called Justin Schmidt who tested the venom of insects. He's been stung over a thousand times by countless insects, and he says the warrior wasp is the most painful he's ever experienced. He said it's torture, like being chained to the flow of an active volcano. It's hard to imagine what that feels like, but the sting lasts for over two hours. In the same sense that fire ant bites feel like burning, bullet ant bites feel like you've been shot. Schmidt compared it to walking over flaming charcoal with a three inch nail embedded in your heel. The pain comes in waves, and if that wasn't bad enough, bullet ants sting repeatedly, which can cause temporary paralysis. There is a tribe in Brazil who use bullet ants for warrior initiations. Young boys will wear gloves for five minutes. That doesn't sound too tough, but the gloves contain live bullet ants. The boy's arms always become paralyzed from the ordeal, and they are made to do this 20 times. The tarantula hawk has the best name on this list. They hunt tarantulas and other monsters, who they kill with their massive stinger. It's said that words can't express how bad their sting is. It's just really, 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 really painful. Which makes sense. Their venom paralyzes tarantulas while the tarantula hawk can devour them. Luckily, the pain only lasts about five minutes. 
In the 1950s, they wanted to breed the ultimate bee species, so they crossbred Western and African bees, hoping to create hard-working bees to produce more honey. It did work to some extent, but there was a big downside. They were deadly. Their sting was able to kill humans, so they were tightly contained to specific areas of Brazil. Unfortunately, 26 groups escaped from the quarantine areas. Since then, they've spread to North America and killed a thousand people. Africanized bees really are deadly, and they're on the loose. They're much stronger and much faster than other bees. Also, they have been known to chase after people who disturb them. So that's the end of this video. If you want to support this channel, you can do so simply by leaving a like. And if you want more content from me, I have a second channel where I do different videos about different things.